Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my basement on this really warm day in the Pacific Northwest. We have had a heat advisory for the last couple of days. It's been, um, uh, uh, so I don't have air conditioning. The basement though is rather cool and lovely right now, but it's been, it's been a little sweaty, a little damp, a little moist. <laughs> I've already taken one shower. I think I'm gonna have to take another one because it's been, but, but, but we are here for the House of Dragons season three episode. Nope, nope. Season two, episode four. <laughs> We're not a whole lot happened as terms of plot progression last episode, except the boys want war. They want war. Demon arrived at Heron Hall himself and a dragon and went, I'm here to claim Heron Hall. And the people there went, Okay, cool, fine. Uh, we're just sitting down to dinner. You want some? <laughs> Ta-da! And Damon took Heron Hall. But the big, the big ish, the big hoo-hoo was at the end where uh, Renera did a sister act undercover move, went to speak to Alicent to try to have Alicent somehow talk the men in her life into avoiding war. And it was revealed, discovered, found out that Alicent misunderstood the king gravely. It was so subtle. There was this brilliant, brilliant moments in that scene where first we had Emma Darcy as she's, the way she portrayed Rhaenyra doubting that her father wanted her to be queen and ruler and her, just that moment of, am I holding on too tight? Where did I lose the thread? Did he really not have faith in me? to vindication when Alicent went, oh yeah, he was talking about the prince that to be destined, whatever it was. And then the look as Olivia Cole on her face, Renera is going, yes, my father told a story of Aegon the Conqueror. And just the way she was saying Aegon the, the Conqueror, holy shit, not my dumbass son. What did I do? But it's too late. She claims her boys, um, are out for blood. There, she didn't raise them to see reason. <laughs> so war's at us. War is, war is here. War is here. So yay, yay. Okay, I am ready to get to it because being with you all while we're watching it is what makes it oh so much fun. So I am not gonna get under the big cozy blanket because I will die. But I have some wine, nice and refreshing, some white wine. Tell me what you're drinking. I would love to know. And also please remember, Full episode watch long is available on Patreon where I would love to see you. So if you're ready, I think I am. So let's get to it. Flashback, cause that's the throne room in the high keep, right? Or the red keep. Yeah, it's the throne room. Or is it a dream? Speak plainly. Nope, I'm a dreamer, Nera. Stop. He would kill Renera. Deep down, that's what he wants. There's been a raven. Another raven? Oh, who did you? Why do you have blood on your hands, sir? Aegon's army departed King's Landing a fortnight ago. The castles of Rosby and Stokeworth have both fallen without siege. You mean they surrendered immediately? Sir Criston's army now tripled in strength. Ooh. Even if you can raise a host of rivermen. Let's see what your Lord Paramount is made of. My, 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 my prince, uh, my, my grace, your grace. This is Lord Paramount? Uh, this is Sir Oscar Tully, grandson to Grover Tully. He is heir to River Run and the future Lord Paramount of the Riverlands. Wow. This is an honor, your grace. Indeed. <laughs> wow. How fair is your grandsire? He lies in a kind of waking sleep, unable to do much more than take meager drinks. 
I have a thought. So he's alive. Yes. For now, God's thought feet. is Damon gonna go help him along? Well, my time is short. Help him along, along you know what I Perhaps mean? Perhaps you might place a feather pillow over his head and speed along your inheritance. I, I love my grandsire. Like a father. My... <laughs> Are you here to speak with your grandsire's voice for House Tully in the Riverlands? While he still lives? That is not our way. Then you're of no use to me. House Tully is a fish with no head. Summon the Blackwoods here. I require men of action to lead my host of rivermen. We never saw Renera leave King's Landing, did we? She's still there. And you are Alan. Yes. I'm given to understand my Lord Husband owes you his life. But I was not told his saviour was so comely. Does he look just like my husband? Is what I'm saying. Indirectly. <laughs> Is your work finished? No, my lord. <laughs> He was the sailor who plucked you from your watery grave. You did not think to mention it. I did not think it relevant. I know who he is, Corliss. That's my question. She knows who he is. He saved his lord's life. He should be raised up and honored, not hidden beneath the tides. Is this why you came? I came to tell you that Bela has called me to Dragonstone. That council is going to dine on her and Jace for supper. They grow restless in Rhaenyra's absence. Where has that woman gone? She's still at King's Landing. Good morning, Your Grace. Good morning, Grand Maester. As requested. I brewed it myself. Are we... <gasps> I will see it delivered discreetly. She gonna take it herself? The tea is known to disagree with the gut. I shall observe the girl closely. She, she, she's taking that herself, isn't she? <laughs> You've ever been a practical man, and you served my lord husband in his darkest hours. Do you believe Viserys wanted Aegon to succeed him? Oh, well, that's a loaded question, Alicent. I could not know. His grace never raised the matter with me. Very diplomatic. And brewed by the Grand Meester himself. Hmm. Sir Kristen Cole's host has taken to exploiting the tree cover to conceal its movements. Leaves. You should have burned them when you had the chance. Perhaps you can, Sir Alfred, when you next sight them on your dragon. Have you had word from your father? No. We could perhaps act if only we had a host of our own. Or someone here to lead us. This council is rudderless. I'm doing my best to steer it, Sir Alfred. It is kind of, sort of. Why should your voice be any louder than ours, Princess? The Queen did not name you Hand. Oh, that is an idea. Oh, Renera should have a hand. But they are gone. What has come of this council? <gasps> oh, here comes the hand. Okay. Okay. My lord. Well, I'll listen to him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We do not know the Queen's doings, but we must trust that she seeks the same as each of us at this table. I want Rhaenyra to come busting through those doors. Not be stuck in King's Landing. What is this? Men of House Darkland! All who bend the knee to the true king, Aegon, will be spared. Uh. You can earn back your honor by raising his banner and fighting in his name against the whore of Dragonstone. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he is so salty. <laughs> Good morrow, Lord Doctor. Is there no honor left in this world, Cole? Obviously not. Putting up people to the sword. Kingmaker. Oh, look at you go, sir. You're not fit for the white cloak. 
yours will come in kind. Well, he went out on his, on his, on his, you know what I mean. Damon, of all people, has taken Harrenhal. I give you a job, and now you just sit there. It's your fucking castle! Oh, yeah. That's right. Well, that castle is more crippled than I am. As Harrenhal saps Damon's resolve, the false queen remains trapped on her island, and Sir Criston continues felling castles in the Crownlands. I need to be informed of these things. <laughs> If I'm to make informed rulings, I will not be made to look a fool in front of my allies and enemies. Oh. Sir Kristen is marching on Rook's Rest. Rook's Rest? A pathetic prize. I gave no such command. The castle command. is small, weakly defended, and Lord Staunton sits on Rhaenyra's council. Oh. We'll have Dragonstone effectively cut off by land. No. Have him turn about. I want Harrenhal back. Cole is already preparing his attack. How, how do you know this? You sent word to me. <laughs> to you? <laughs> That's right! To your brother! The two of you have been plotting without my authority. <laughs> mm, look at that smug! Look at that smug smile! <sighs> oh, that's right. You are king in name only, sir. I think the maester knows about that, what went down there, right? Do they all speak High Valerian? Brooks Rest is an easy target. The worthy effort. Don't you agree? My king. I e you better agree. Lord Laris. Her potion's sitting right there. Right there. After your absence from the small council, I feared something was amiss. Indulgence was my sin. I ventured into the lamprey pie at last night's supper. Too far, I fear. Is that bottle only used for one specific potion? Sir Kristen wins every challenge he faces there. That truth alone is like to incite Rhaenyra's fury. He's covered himself in glory, to be sure. Okay. If I may be so bold, my queen. What has stopped him before? I did not know you shared your lord husband's love for the histories. Oh, was she looking up the story of the Song of Ice and Fire? The voices of history guided Viserys. He knew that his wisdom alone could only reach so far. Rhaenyra's supporters will believe what they wish. And so will Egon's. The war will be fought. Many will die. And the victor will eventually ascend the throne. The significance of Viserys' intentions died with him. Who are you gonna kill an heir this time, Damon? Oh, himself! Himself? Himself. <laughs> She's there. Strange castle putting its people to the sword. I'm called Alice. Strong? Rivers. Rivers. The bastard. How are you settling in? <laughs> Obviously so well. Sleep can be thin in this place. What would you know of my sleep? Harrenhal's been cursed since its first stone was laid. Black hadn't fell the grove of weirwood trees that grew on these lands. The very bed you sleep in was made from such a heart tree. Oh, jeez. Why would, why would you? Why would you? Yes, I believe in woo-woo stuff because sometimes it just is the only thing that makes sense. I'm no woman at all. I'm a barn owl. Cursed to live in human form. 
So you've come here after quarreling with your wife. <gasps> oh, she was very perceptive on that. It's a hard thing, I imagine, to give obeisance to one who replaced you as heir. Wow, okay. And a Sh woman too, a girl child you bounced on your knee. I mean, does it please you that her legitimacy is contested as you stand here with a castle and a dragon attempting to draw an army of men? She is perceptive and uh, bold in her speech. And what's that drink gonna do? Need your sleep if you're to win this place to your side. He's just gonna drink it. <laughs> pay for their treachery against the laws of gods and men and against the crown who are you cloak pen's pretty cool sir william blackwood of house blackwood your grace as i said well met <laughs> what might i do for you <laughs> you i think you, you called him you. yeah <laughs> your grace <laughs> some 20 years ago my lord bent the knee to king viserys and acknowledged the princess rhaenyra as his rightful heir so you fight for this old oath, not of course for your thousand-year-old feud with the Brackens. I once vied for Queen Rhaenyra's hand before she weds Elena. Oh. I was like her spirit. And you're prepared to march without the leave of your lord. Dude, no. Oh no. Oh, that's his wife. They all have names that sound the same. Lenora? Lenera. And once you and your dragon bring the queen's justice to the Brackens, our armies will be yours. Wait, so he wants Damon to <sighs> all over the Brackens? Our lords in the crown lands are grousing. Their herds of livestock struggle to keep pace with the dragon's relentless appetites, Vagars in particular. Well, Cole's done splendidly at the least, turning every castle and army he's faced, including Duskendale, God's blessing. Kingmaker, they're calling him. And with Aemond and Vagar also at the ready, we are a formidable opponent. You bore me. Oh, please let Aegon's pride be his downfall. Please let it be his downfall. That would be hilarious. Of course, the fact that people die for his pride, mm, terrible. But, but. What are you doing here? Where are your father's books? I ordered them removed with no thought to the centuries of knowledge in those pages. Did he burn them? Did he burn them? <laughs> Jesus, they are the three stooges. I removed them. I didn't burn them. What is it? They don't care what I think. What thoughts would you have? I'm the king. <laughs> Do you think simply wearing the crown imbues you with wisdom? Yeah, <laughs> is the answer. It's my hope that <laughs> once enthroned, be silent and strive to learn from the more studied minds around you in the hope that you might be half the king your father was. Tread carefully. Or what? You'll hang me as you did your rat catchers. You have no idea the sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. Mm -hmm. What would you have me do, Mother? Do simply what is needed of you. Do what we tell you. Nothing. Do what we tell you. <laughs> to Rook's Rest! To battle! Right now! We're battling right now! <laughs> Ah, so Sir Gwen is not. We must hold here and ready ourselves to lay siege at nightfall. <laughs> we should move now and strike by day. They will not expect it. <laughs> they will not expect it because it is fucking madness. And Christian doesn't care. We advance. Hmm. And Rhaenyra has returned. We need to send a dragon. Where? to support the war that your vassals have been fighting in your absence. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Many Darkling men declared for Aegon. Those who refused were put to the sword. What of my father? He kept his oath. 
to the end. To the end. You could have been taken or slain. I inherited 80 years of peace from my father. Before I was to end it, I needed to know that there was no other path. There is no other path now. And now I do. Cole knows we have no army on the mainland. He is brazen. He is daring us to act. We need to send a dragon. I'm sensing, I hear, keep hearing dragon, dragon, there are dragon. Those who have mistaken my caution for weakness. And in my head, I'm replacing it with atomic bomb. Like once we do dragons. Let that be their undoing. We are done. We are done. I will go. Awesome. Our allies raise their banners for you. Yes, they do. And I will go. Send me. <laughs> no, Could even you lack the, the experience. Alarm. You must send me, your grace. <gasps> what? Melis is your largest dragon and no stranger to battle. I will meet Cole. <gasps> and, oh, we can't lose Rhaenyras. We cannot lose Rhaenyras. <laughs> we can't lose Rhaenyras! And I love how she walks away as if it's decided. That's what's gonna happen. It's the flagging with the dragon. Does it have the brew that is true? I wish only to fight for you. I... Listen, I need to tell you, Jason. She could tell him the Song of Ice and Fire. The Targaryen who sits the Iron Throne is not just a king or a queen. They are a protector. Oh God, we're gonna have a dragon battle. We're gonna have a dragon battle. My father believed that I alone was meant to be this protector. The horrors I have just loosed cannot be for a crown alone. That is why I must believe what Viserys told me when he named me his heir. Egon the Conqueror's dream. He called it the Song of Ice and Fire. So, we know where Nearest is heading to Rook's Rest. But where Aegon's going, questionable. A question. He can be going to Dragonstone, he could be going to Harrenhal, he could be going to Rook's Rest, or someplace else altogether. Make the signal. What signal? All is going to plan. Oh, is Aegon there? Not Aegon, Aemon. Aemon's there. <gasps> oh, there she goes. There she goes. Aemon's there. Mm-hmm. <gasps> <laughs> this wasn't a bad plan that Christian and Eamon had. They're willing to sacrifice all those fellas. Okay. Whose dragon is that? His grace, the king's. This was your secret plot, Carl. For the king himself to lay ambush and they have to die in the attempt. No! Your king has joined you! For the seven have blessed and shielded this host with divine purpose! For the one true king, Egon! Oh, this is this is a massacre. This is beyond massacre. Where are you, Aemond? <gasps> is Aemon gonna let Aegon die? Oh, that poor <laughs> That was terrible. But it was a nice touch. That was terrible. What do you see? You see, you see Vagar out there. We cannot lose Rhaenyras. We cannot lose Rhaenyras. We can't lose Rhaenyras. We can't lose Rhaenyras. 
Thanks the gods! Check out it! There's no way he survived that. There is no way he could survive that fall. Okay, what now, Rhaenyras? Is your dragon faster? Angos Ailes. Oh! No! Her dragon can hear when she says that. That's so awfully. Oh, she's. <gasps> Do not sacrifice yourself. We know she's not going to take out Amen. She can't take both of them out. Here's the thing. We cannot lose both sons in one show. That would be crazy pants. Is it plausible? Yes. But that can't be... That... That would be... What? I... We can't lose Rhaenyra's. Wow, Melis is really good with that. Okay, or or Reneas can survive and just severely hurt hurt Vagar would be good and still survive. Oh Okay, so Vagar is still around, but is he just, or is he actually under control? <gasps> Rhaenyras, don't. Oh, he's coming after you. He's coming after you. He's coming after you. I'm getting a season one finale flashback. He is not gone. Behind there, he's behind there. Oh, I knew, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. How do you get free of that? You can't. Yeah, you can't get free of that. That dragon is toast. This is bull crap. I'm so upset. <sighs> oh, we got more. We've got more. Okay. I'm so upset we lost Rhaenyra's over Rook's rest. I mean, oh, they could have at least gotten a win. Amen. Did Aegon somehow survive? That sucker survived. <laughs> I so enjoyed Rhaenyra. She was always like a bright spot in any part of the plot. She brought grace. She brought intelligence. She brought compassion. And to have her go out and they still lost the Because you know she can't survive. There is no way she could have survived that. And Aegon for sure, again, no way he could survive that. However, we've seen in other shows, people miraculously survive unbeatable odds, but must be dead. 
So Amon inherits the throne? Does he by default inherit the throne or does it go to Renera because she was King Jocerus's next? Or does it Damon, or now is it just a hodgepodge anybody can claim or try to claim it now or stake a claim? I don't know what to say anymore because I'm so mad right here. <laughs> and Damon's just off being haunted. Will he come back and be a player? Yeah, this is an episode where I need to reserve my thoughts because I feel like we're mid-step and we haven't completed the routine. We haven't completed the routine. We're kind of, huh, now what? And I think that's because Aegon died. If he had not had died, I would go, that really sucks for Team Black that they lost a dragon and a leader in Rhaenerys and more men that they could have had on their side. But now Aegon has died, so that's, ah, oh, now what does that mean? Because nobody declared for, for Aemon. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna process for a while. I'm gonna process and finish my bottle of wine and finish packing, I'm still mid-move. So yeah, what are y'all, what are y'all thoughts on this? Who else is as upset as I am? <laughs> okay, so there we go. <laughs> Episode four. We're halfway through the season. Yes. No, we're almost halfway through the season. Oh, we've got more to go, obviously. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. So thank you so much for being with me. Uh, yeah, please. Until the next time, take care of yourselves. Stretch your bodies. If you haven't already, hit subscribe so you know when I drop something, which will be hopefully... <sighs> Who knows when, but I would love to see you again. So thanks again <laughs> and until next time, y'all.